Hi, I'm Jeff Wong, the Global Chief Innovation Officer at EY. We're here at the Oxford Foundry for our AI Impact Weekend, where we just finished up our hackathon on AI and people selection. And we have one of our winners, the winners of the best tech solution here, Review. Well, welcome and congratulations. I'm also joined by Nigel Duffy, EY's Global AI Leader. So to kick it off, could you tell me your name, the college, and what you're studying? Maybe we'll start down at the end. Hi, um, I'm Joy uh, from Jesus College, and I'm studying an undergrad in psychology and linguistics. Hi, I'm Eric, and I'm doing engineering at Harris Manchester College. Hi, I'm Owen, and I'm an undergraduate medical student at Wadham College. Hi, Rajiv Dyer. I'm doing an MBA at the Said Business School, and I'm at Lincoln College. We also unfortunately couldn't be joined by Raymond today, who is studying massive philosophy at Wadham. So can you describe your solution? So in terms of our technical solution, we had two elements which were interesting. We had the AI solution and the front-end solution. We, there are two people working on the AI, which was Joy and myself. Joy can tell you a little bit about our initial experiments. So um, what we wanted to do at first was to try and find some traits that were non-biased between uh, all the applicants. So we look at stuff like um, the soft skills that they had or the university um, degree that they studied. Um, we tried to do this at first by using multiple regression, but I think the data set didn't quite allow for us to come up with that. So then after that, we were trying a lot of different options. Um, I went and um, worked on a decision tree, and then Owen went to work on a k-means clustering. Yeah. So we became I'm interested in moving on to um, unsupervised techniques. We thought potentially had a bit more accountability and there was less issues in terms of bringing a bias source from the supervised signal. So we were using unsupervised k-means algorithms. And also we wanted to make the AI sort of simpler to understand, so we worked with a lot of statistical techniques that people are familiar with from disciplines such as psychology, which we all brought together through our shared studies. And then we can talk a bit about the front end. So for our front end, we used a Tinder-like interface, which gives every applicant a more equal share of a recruiter's time. And also when we detect that recruiters might be ignoring certain types of candidates, we gently tell the recruiters, hey, maybe they deserve a bit more attention. So you guys have a very diverse set of backgrounds. What was it like to come together over a weekend and build something like this? I think from, from my perspective, it was really interesting because I have a very traditional business background. And so my, my career has been in investment banking and development finance. So for me to get together, not only with a diverse group, but a group who is much younger than I am, uh, who I honestly learned a lot from, was a fantastic experience. So I think overall it was just a fantastic weekend to learn from people uh, and to, to share in a, in a solution. Great. Congratulations. Thank you.